So good morning to all of you. I'm Abhishek Das, belongs to High Performance Computing uh, Division of uh, CDAC. CDAC was established in 1988. Just to give an introduction, CDAC was established in 1988 to spearhead India's supercomputing capabilities. So CDAC has been into high-end use applications. Uh, these are some of the applications. For example, uh, in the mechanic, in the civil engineering, uh, in automobile engineering, in the animation industries, satellites, security. Uh, the medicines, these, these are some of the applications in India in which CDAC, CDAC is working using lots of other scientific applications. Why supercomputing? We all know that complementing theory and experimentation, supercomputing offers a third mode of scientific discovery innovation, which is outcompete is to outcompute. So these are some of the CDAC HPC capabilities. Under a single umbrella, CDAC is having systems, national facilities, which run different kind of scientific applications, starting from weather climate, bioinformatics, finite element analysis, CFD, mathematical modeling. There are different kind of solution, end-to-end -end solutions, trainings, workshops, and various enabling technologies around HPC. So these are the evolution of param system. The word param means parallel machines. So starting from 1991, as I told you, <coughs> after 88, the first uh, supercomputer uh, commissioned in India was in 1991. And then in 2012 and 13, currently very recent in the month of February, the largest heterogeneous system was launched, which is called Param Yuva. Yuva means young in India. So to 2012 and 13, 500 travel of machines. So this 500 telephone machine is called National, Super, uh, pa National Param Supercomputing Facilities, which is being uh, used by all scientific uh, and research labs in India and given access. So these are some of the indigenous technologies. The middle one with 288 nodes currently is the largest heterogeneous computers in CDAC with indigenous InfiniBand cards, switches, RC accelerators, and other software stacks. So this is the picture of the Param Yuva, which is commissioned recently, looks like this. So in India, we have two uh, national systems. One is this, which, which we call is National Param Supercomputing Facility, and the other one is Central Terra Supercomputing Facility, which was commissioned in 2001. So coming to the scientific and academic sectors, so first of all, I'll tell you that uh, there are the ministries who are having scientific and research labs in India. Those are Ministry of Earth Sciences, Ministry of Information and Technology, Ministry of Science and Technology. CDAC belongs to the second one, Ministry of Information and Technology. CDAC uh, and uh, under Ministry of Earth Sciences, there are lots of weather, weather and climate research organization, OSNIC organizations. CDAC uh, is now collab CDAC has collaborated with all these organizations to work on various weather and research and climate uh, models like WRF, CFS, OSNIC codes like NEMO, tsunami models. So the and uh, the, uh, under the Ministry of Science and Technology, we have various departments called Biotechnology Department. We have a department and other science uh, and engineering department to which, which we are conducting research. So the ministries which are having academic and engineering sectors are Ministry of Human Resource Development. These ministries uh, basically uh, contains the premier education institutions of India and are basically into the uh, production of skilled uh, manpower workforce. So science and engineering research with CDAC HPC capabilities. So this is the bioinformatics resource application facilities uh, which CDAC uh, has, which is also being uh, uh, accessed by all the other bioinformatics institutes in India. So this is the grid Garuda. CDAC is connected. CDAC uh, is uh, CDAC, the, the Param UA systems is also connected with all the other, with all premier uh, supercomputers uh, commission in other labs, premier institutes uh, under academic and scientific sectors. The NKN is a national knowledge, knowledge network. You can just in the picture you can see the how the things are connected, how CDAC is connected to all the other organizations to show that SPC resources can be shared.
here the concept is the in all the education uh, or universities the, the big hp systems cannot be commissioned due to the power problems due to the space problems and infrastructure problems so that is why the cdac uh, has connected all this uh, with the, uh, the all the small uh, supercomputing facilities are connected to the large supercomputing facilities so that whenever people wants to uh, use the access can be given a dedicated access to the uh, parameva systems so there are the various research domains uh, in which uh, indian government is also focusing on is life science ocean earth surface atmospheric modeling cfd disaster management and uh, nano science research is a new of course new emerging area natural resource and then space applications so there are one, this is one of the research that using 4t processor of parameva approximately for 6 months which is being done uh, with protein unfolding so this is a real time weather forecast a small glimpse shot so this is uh, with the civil engineering department for uh, dynamic simulator used in the building structures these are earthquake simulations of bridges all this is being uh, used application open seas is being used in the seismic domain using 96 processor of parameva so there are various training and assessment on parallel multi core and many core programming and in the last uh, point you can see cdac certified hpc professionals so this is the hpc this is hpc global certification program yet to be launched by cdac uh, this is just like you have jcp java certified professional you have cisco certified professional this is a professional program for hpc uh, which, uh, which people one if a person uh, appears and get through then he can at least we can consider him uh, he, he or she has at least some kind of hpc aware so these are the manufacturers and solution providers in india hpc users you can see uh, you can see csi as i told you there are different ministries ministry of science and technology under minister of science and technology you have see csir you can see ntpc national thermal power corporation under ministry of energy you can npl national physical laboratory again under ministry of science and technology in cois ncm wf itm all these are under ministry of earth sciences so these are uh, certain organizations in which uh, drdo defense ministry is there so these are these are all the organizations with which cdac is has collaborated and uh, doing active research uh, with the specific application domains so cdac hp solution for engineering institutions the basic idea here is till now cdac has been focusing on that the scientific and research labs but in order to increase the hpc manpower the so cdac has uh, brought out a solution for the academic institutions which we basically called as onama onama uh, onama is the cdac indigenous product which contains open source technologies some servers is basically for the engineering domains it's an integrated package which contains uh, all the engineering discipline applications starting from civil mechanical electrical IT, chemical. It contains of serial as well as parallel application. The idea is to give the students some uh, HPC feel during the at the college level. It provides access to various APIs from several libraries, parallel libraries, performance libraries. So these are the various engineering domains. who uh, computer chemical mechanical electrical electronic civil people can work all this uh, domain people can work using cdac onama solutions and can uh, uh, get a feel of high performance computing so this is a background of high performance computing in engineering institutes in india the apex body we call it all india council for technical education this is the body which monitors uh, under which the entire engineering institutes of india are uh, affiliated then we go to state wise state wise the directors of technical education then we go to uh, private engineering colleges and then uh, technical staff and engineering of the futures so this is how cdac is having a bottom to top approach to uh, um, uh, ensure that the hpc gets at the grassroots level so this relevance to engineering segment hpc plays a vital role in almost all critical areas 
and considered as a medium to increase economic competitiveness of the nation. In India, HPC is at developing stage with acute shortage of HPC professionals. There is a demanding of large number of professionals, not only by academic sectors, but also the industry. So the idea is to produce good man HPC aware manpower that can be utilized by uh, different industries, scientific and academic labs. So the basic idea is in the last, uh, you can see the, the, the cap capability building or building up skilled HPC manpower is the main goal using this uh, solution product. So these are the technology paradigm shifts with the present and these are the future with the clusters, with the interconnect, with system software, tools and pilot programming. So this is in short what I had to say about CDAC, its uh, initiatives in science and academic and engineering segment in India. Thank you.